Thank you. Hello, everyone. I hope all of you had a lovely New Year and are going strong on your New Year resolutions. As far as my New Year resolution is concerned, it is to go home to no housework. <laughs> I am Pallavi. I am the co-founder and COO of Home Bliss. And um, I am, one moment. Home Bliss provides subscription services for everyday home services like lawn services and house cleaning. And I have to tell you a story. In 2004, my husband and I, we bought our first home and we were super excited. It was like a fairy tale. And I almost said to myself, we will live happily ever after. <laughs> But sure enough, that did not happen. Soon after, our house started to get dirty, the lawn started to grow, and we needed mowing. There were weeds, there was pest, the filter needed to be changed, and that was not fun. We were both working, so we said, okay, let's get the best guys and ladies and see what we can do about this. That did not make it any easier either. So it was really hard, the whole traditional way of getting the services as well as uh, managing the service providers was almost like me having another part-time job. We said there has to be a better way to do it. And that's how Homeless was born. We went and spoke with several of our friends and neighbors. And as a part of the Collide Village program, spoke with hundreds of homeowners and they echoed the same issues. Uh, an average homeowner has about four to six services that they take for their home, and they spend anywhere between $500 and $700 a month getting these four to six services. Just finding a service provider, getting all the in-home estimates, etc., takes about six to eight hours, and that's one service. And managing each of it, making the payments, and making sure it's done right is another one to two hours per service. 80% so of the homeowners we spoke with were absolutely frustrated with how inefficient managing home service were in total. They were really unhappy about how much scheduling and rescheduling they had to do and how much time they had to spend just wondering if the tasks that they were expecting would be done on time. And to add to that pain, the communication wasn't that great. There was, there was nothing consistent. So today, uh, the home services marketplace is served by two different types of providers, mainly. One is the local traditional providers, and the other is the crowd-sourced marketplaces. Each of these players are focused on providing one single service. So imagine you had to go for milk to Target, and then go pick up your bread from Walmart, and then your cereal from 7-Eleven. How fun would that be? So the traditional local uh, marketplace, I mean, sorry, the traditional local players do not focus on convenience and do not have the technology to provide you with that convenience. The crowdsource marketplace has, just because of the nature of the business model, is not able to provide that consistent experience and quality. How big is this market? The everyday home services that we are providing is a $10.9 billion market. And that's just the 30 metros, top metros in the US. So what does Homeless bring to the table? We are the first integrated platform to provide multiple services to homeowners. We are providing the complete stack which means the customer can book, they can customize, they can schedule, they can pay and manage the services. And where we stand, we, have, we are doing over 300 services in the Dallas-Fort Worth area at this point. We are launching a new website and at the end of this month, and we'll encourage all of you to go and take a look at it and use us. Um, 
from that website, you'll be able to book multiple services from just one place, pay for it, and schedule it. So that's all. Thank you very much. And all right, Winston, five minutes, sir. I guess I have the same question for you. So, I mean, I know some of them are siloed in terms of services, but like Angie's List, you can you can pull anything off Angie's List almost. So, how is yours different than, say, Angie's List? So, uh, Angie's List is focused more on helping you find the service, and they provide deals on and off. We are an integrated solution, so you can book, you can manage, you can pay, and we deliver the service too. So, we are a full stack solution, unlike Angie's List. Yes. Oh, right here, real quick. <laughs> hey, um, so I had the opportunity to work on a lawn starter uh, competitor, okay. and um, we're basically the market marketplace model. Mm -hmm. So um, you mentioned that, but you didn't say how you differentiated from it. Um, what we ran into was that we couldn't control the consistency of uh, yes. our providers. Yes. So how are you attacking that problem? It, yes. When you attack even more verticals, it sounds like, or more service providers, it sounds like mm -hmm. even more problems. So I'm really yes. curious to see how you yes. solve that. And um, interestingly enough, we did originally start with a marketplace model and gradually move towards a mix where we have our own employees as well as some subcontractors. So that helps us bring better control, better utilization, and extremely great profit margins. I would imagine that a lot of the people doing a lot of these services right now are probably working for cash. So how, do, how does that work? Uh, yes, so you got, uh, there is a lot of people like that, but then we have to be very selective about who we are hiring and who we are uh, utilizing. So as I mentioned, we have a lot of our people in-house. So they go through an extensive vetting process as well as training. And um, so we do not deal with the cash. Oh, okay. um, so your service is being provided by your employees? Uh, a large part. So we have a mix. Okay. But it's not a marketplace. It's not, we're not picking people from Craigslist because these are very sensitive services. People are going inside the house and then, um, it's, it's quite sensitive. People are wanting the right kind of people. So, uh, sorry, to your right. There you go. Sorry, I'm blinded <laughs> by the light. So. It's okay. <laughs> um, just follow the echo. <laughs> um, my question is, uh, so you're going to have people, uh, like you said, it's a sensitive thing coming into the house. Um, part of the inconvenience of having managed services like this is you have to actually be present at the house and follow a time window and things like that. Do you do anything to address that pain point as well? Yes. but. You, yeah, you will not believe that with the in-house services, I would say 75% of the times there is no one home. So just because of the relationship we have and the trust that they have because of the quality we deliver, uh, they let us access the home in their absence. So uh, also because we have control on the timing, they know exactly when we are going. So there are almost no no-shows and we are within a 30 minute um, range of time. Uh, sometimes, so they don't give it to us. We have access codes or there is somewhere we can pick it up from. Are you insured? Absolutely. And how much per visit? A million dollars is, for, are you asking for visit? Are you asking for a visit? So our, our general liability is $2 million. And uh, I do not remember the exact number for the uh, per visit. Okay. Yeah, but it's, uh, so two million is our general liability, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, sorry, that was a lot louder than I thought. Um, a number of the answers that you gave for previous questions was that you were addressing those issues because you guys were providing many of these employees. They were kind of vetted through you. How then do you scale and grow that beyond like an immediate local place? 
if a primary, you know, a major source of the folks are actually not, you know, they're coming through you guys. You're like a, you know, yes. employment agency then. But yeah, uh, you do not need that many people to serve that many homes as it appears. But so uh, we have pretty good, really. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So we have some. Yeah, so we have a pretty solid process for hiring people and partnerships for that. So thank you. Thank you.